House is empowered by Section 100, Subsection 5 of the 1999 Constitution as altered to override the government. And from the presentations of members this morning, I'm convinced that we have the view that we should make progress on this bill so it can become law for our dear states. The Speaker of the River State House of Assembly explaining the reason why the House overrides Governor Fubara. Many believe the action of the lawmakers is self-serving, but not in the interest of rivers people who elected them. I don't blame the House of Assembly itself. It's the governor that tolerated this scenario because they went and signed a pact. And people looked at that pact and saw that it's a worthless document. It's unconstitutional. Part of which is even in court pending currently. As to the constitutionality of that pact, is it a charter of government? Is it a direction, a directive principle of government? Nobody has answered that question. And no court has made any pro pronouncement as to the validity or constitutionality of the defection of the members of the House of Assembly. What if the governor had said no? I don't agree, are not the members of the House of Assembly and insisted on fresh elections, which has been the clarion call of many. But he didn't do that, he gave approval. Now they found a chance to move in on him, to restrict his space, apparently towards seeing how they can uh, reduce him like a piece of bread within the coffers of governance. They can't probate and reprobate. The fundamental question first is what authority are they upon? The Edison Hill led assembly was recognized by the law court as speaker. So if you had lost sponsorship, it means you're standing alone, you know. And even talking about um, exercising the issues they are looking at is also contradictory. But for these residents who spoke with Arise News, the legislators are merely discharging their constitutional responsibility that should not be frustrated by the executive arm of government given the principle of separation of powers. By virtue of section 100 sub 5, the law permits the assembly to override the governor or the executive as the case may be, although there are exemptions, like I said. But in this case, when once there is no assent to executive bill, the law permits them to. We have seen instances, we saw that of Obaseke. Section 4, sub 5 and 6 empowers uh, the House of Assembly of a state to make laws. Uh, that is the constitution. So overriding the governor as well is not also out of place. Section 100, so 5, 6 and 7 empowers them to do so also. One other contentious issue is the legitimacy otherwise of the legislators having defected from the PDP, the political party platform, they were elected to the opposition APC in River State. The issue of the constitutionality or otherwise of the House of Assembly is still pending with, before a court of competent jurisdiction. Currently, it is at the Court of Appeal. And we know it's something that should get to the Supreme Court because we are dealing directly with issues concerning the level of aberration that pact has been to the Constitution, being that it is not part of the Constitution, it is not an integral parcel of the Constitution. It cannot refer to it anywhere. As a constitutional document, can we operate anything outside the, outside the spheres of government? What about the consistency and inconsistency principle in the constitution? The supremacy of constitutional provisions which should guide governance at all levels. If you are not operating a democratic system, we should call it off as much as we can, as quickly as we can. Now to allow that sort of pact, which I consider to be worthless, totally and completely by itself, no matter how the courts are trying to rig my rule through uh, the matters brought before them, none of them have made a pronouncement on the validity or otherwise of the defection, the extent to which you can say that there's a house of assembly for River State. And that's the crux of the matter. So apparently what we expect in the next few days, except there's a um, um, uh, 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 an accelerated procedure by the court to make a declaration between the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court over the validity of the current assembly that calls itself the River State House of Assembly, then of course what you are headed for is an impeachment of the governor. The first question is not what they are doing, it is, it is what authority are they exercising? Do they still enjoy the constitutional authority? and the authority of the people. That question must be answered. And that question, I doubt the last time I checked, is not being answered. So they just have a gathering of friends, not actually uh, representing 
uh, the good people of Rural State, let alone talking about exercising constitutional rights in the interest of Rivers people. I, I don't think it's, it's, it's slovin or slattern in any form for a member of a party who feels that his right has been inhibited not to. The law allows that. When once there is factionalization or a kind of embargo within the party or fracas, the law permits a member of a party to defect. Defection is not an apostasy. That should be established. And it is also within the waters of the court to test the veracity of defection. That notion is actually wrong. The, the House has fully constituted, ably led by Right Honorable Martin Chika Mehule, is uh, legitimate. Only a court of law can decide so. The River State House of Assembly had on March 13 this year passed the local government amended bill forwarding same to Governor Fubara for his assent, which he declined. Already, many residents of Port Harcourt are apprehensive about the cat and dog relationship between the legislature and the executive arms of government. They want both to shield their swords in order to forestall a recurrence of the tension that greeted the state late last year during the political crisis that attracted President Bola Tinubu's intervention with the eight points peace pact brokered by him. In Port Harcourt, Izandi Omano Omano, Arise News.